9.30 in the morning and we just cast off. It was just a quick stop over in Ganges to get some groceries and a place to sleep for the night because our final destination for this leg of the journey is Thetis Island and more specifically Telegraph Harbour and what's happening there is the annual CNC rendezvous. As I left Ganges, I was reminded that I likely wouldn't be back here for a while which made this the perfect time to reflect on all the fun I'd had here during the past year. Well, I'm heading home today and the sun is just rising and it's another cold morning so hopefully it'll warm up in the afternoon again and hopefully I get some wind to get me home today. So it's race day and the crew is here. Just went to the skippers meeting. We're running the course counterclockwise. So here we are, just about to cross the finish line. Thank you. We beat our time from last year. You need to have the the the, the, the push the, yeah, yeah. to push because there is also always yeah. the, the river is yeah. Huh? Well, it's been good. Bye bye, you guys. Okay. Ciao. We'll see you again. Mm -hmm. And safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. As you've probably guessed, Ganges is one of my favorite places to go when I'm out cruising. But for now, it's onward to Telegraph Harbor and a fun weekend event. It's about 20 miles from Ganges to Telegraph Harbor. And with the light winds and calm seas, I think we're going to just enjoy a relaxing motor to get there. And fast forward about four hours and we are at Telegraph Harbor. And right at the very end is Telegraph Harbor Marina, which is where we are staying. This will be our fourth year attending the rendezvous. And although it's a modest sized event, I really do enjoy looking at a few other CNC's that range in age and size when compared to my boat. And once we got the boat all settled into her spot, we're able to sit and enjoy watching the other boats come in. Two Canadian sailors, George Cuthbertson, a mechanical engineer, and George Cassian, an aircraft designer, formed the design group Cuthbertson and Cassian in 1961. This partnership evolved out of Cuthbertson's previous yacht design and brokerage firm. They started by designing a small number of steel and wood boats. Cuthbertson drew the preliminary lines and Cassian designed the interiors. After the successful design of the Hinterholer Invader 35, a Canadian yachtsman named Perry Connolly, who had previously purchased an Invader 35, commissioned Cuthbertson and Cassian in 1965 to design a 40-foot custom racing sloop. Connolly requested the boat be the hungriest, meanest 40-footer afloat. The boat was named Red Jacket and built by the Bruckman Manufacturing Company. It was constructed of fiberglass with a balsa core, and the resulting structure was strong, stiff, and significantly lighter than the wood or solid fiberglass yachts. Red Jacket is considered to be the first sailboat engineered with a cord hull. She was launched in May of 1966 
and took 11 of 13 starts that summer. That winter, Red Jacket headed south and won the famed Southern Ocean Racing Circuit, competing against over 85 of the best racers of the day. Red Jacket was the first Canadian boat to win the SORC, and the sailing community at large paid close attention. Demand for the CNC designs skyrocketed. In 